solve the equation x plus the square root of x plus 6 equals 9 minus x. Now, we do need to get rid of the radical, but until we get the, the square root by itself, squaring both sides will just create a mess. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides and get the square root of x plus 6 is equal to 9 minus 2x. Now we can square both sides. This is an allowable operation, but it's something that we need to go back and check at the end to make sure that our answers are legitimate. The square root of x plus 6 squared is x plus 6. And here I'm going to write 9 minus 2x times 9 minus 2x so that I remember to do everything. 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times minus 2x is minus 18x. Minus 2x times 9 is minus 18x. And minus 2x times minus 2x is plus 4x squared. So we have x plus 6 is equal to, let me rewrite the right hand side here in standard form, 4x squared minus 36x when we combine the two minus 18x's and then plus 81. We'll subtract x and we'll subtract 6 from both sides. And we'll get 0 is equal to 4x squared minus 37x plus 75. So we need to factor this. Perhaps not the easiest factoring problem in the world, but we'll go ahead and, and do it. You can check this later. It is 4x minus 25 and it is x minus 3. Let me convince you that that is the right answer. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times minus 3 is minus 12x. Minus 25 times x is minus 25x. So the combination of those two really is going to be minus 37. And minus 25 and minus 3 is plus 75. So we wind up with 4x minus 25 is equal to 0. And we wind up with x minus 3 is equal to 0. Adding 25, we get 4x is equal to 25. So x is equal to 25 fourths when we divide both sides by 4. Here we add 3 to both sides and we wind up with x is equal to 3. So we have x equals 25 fourths and we have x equals 3 and we have our initial equation but we really do need at this point to go back and check to make sure that both of those answers are solutions to this equation. So let's check x equals 3 first since the arithmetic is a little easier. 3 plus the square root of 3 plus 6 is equal to 9 minus 3. So 3 plus the square root of 9 on the left hand side and the right hand side is just 6. So we have 3 plus 3 equals 6. So we have 6 equals 6 which is true. So x equals 3 is a solution to this equation. x equals 25 fourths. 25 fourths plus the square root of 25 fourths plus 6 is equal to 9 minus 25 fourths. Here we have 25 fourths plus the square root. 6 will be the same thing as 24 over 4. So when we add them we get 49 over 4. And on the right hand side I'll write that as 36 over 4 minus 25 over 4 since that's what 9 is. So we have 25 fourths plus the square root of 49 fourths. Thankfully we can do that. The square root of 49 is 7 and the square root of 4 is 2. So it's just 7 halves is equal to 11 fourths. 7 over 2 is the same thing as 14 over 4. We see that we're running into trouble here. Notice if this had been a minus in the middle we would have gotten 11 fourths but it's not a minus in the middle. It's plus. We get 39 fourths. This is false. So x equals 25 fourths is not a solution. So the only solution to this is x equals 3. So the solution set to this equation is simply 3.